This was so easy and so much fun. Hi, welcome back to Nails by Sora, and today we are going to create jelly decals. And basically all I'm doing is I'm putting the gel polish onto a jelly stamper. I'm going to put the jelly stamper into the lamp to cure it. And we're going to have a decal. You can call a sticker, you can call a decal. I'm calling it, I'm using them interchangeably, but really it's a decal because it doesn't adhere on its own. So it's not by definition a sticker. But, um, and I do apologize. I think I had my... Uh, lens zoomed in a little bit too far so it gets a bit blurry at times the light is reflecting off the stamper uh, back into the camera lens so it's a little um, blurred and fuzzy but I think you'll be able to get the gist of it these are colors on the palette that I've had from a previous video so I didn't want to get rid of them, so I kept on the palette and just kept it closed in the drawer so that it didn't cure with any ambient light in the room. But I'm basically just doing a marbling technique on the jelly stamper. This is all, um, it's actually, um, I was going to say it's real time, but it is sped up by, by one and a half times. But before it was sped up, it literally took like 13 to 15 minutes to do these nails from beginning to end. So here you'll see I'm using tweezers to peel the decal off of the stamper. It is fully cured. All you have to do is press it onto a tacky layer below and then base coat and top coat over it and the nail is done. This makes it really simple if you have problems doing nail art on your non-dominant hand. It means that you can create this design on the jelly stamper, stick it to your nail, base coat, top coat, and you're good to go. I did three different nails. They're all very similar. The first one, as you saw, I did the marbling on the jelly stamper itself. The second one, I'm going to press the jelly stamper into the polish on the palette. And the third one, I believe I did similarly. Um, I pressed the nail into it, but you will see it when it comes down to it and now I just I felt it needed a little something extra so as always I go in with my gel um, my gold gel paint just to add in some accent lines and it kind of gave it the appearance of being an upside down bud um, whether that be a tulip or a rose a multicolored flower bud I love how these turned out. I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the process. Again, I apologize for it being somewhat blurry. I will endeavor to make sure that my videos going forward are properly focused. But I'm going to take this time to ask you to please, please subscribe, hit that like button, um, hit that bell so that you're notified whenever new videos are available. Um, oh yeah, this is something to mention. Um, I went and I put blossom gel on the palette first, on the jelly stamper first, before I went and dipped it into the colors on the palette, which wasn't specifically necessary, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, see how the colors would move around on top of the jelly stamper with the blossom gel. And it probably would have made more of a difference if I just did the traditional marbling technique as I did before, scooping up the color and brushing it over the blossom gel. But this one, it actually made it a little bit thicker than it needed to be and I had trouble getting it to bend to the shape of the nail. But you can really play around with it however you want and that's the beauty of it. Um, you can put the gel on, if you don't like it, wipe it off, start over again. You can create lots and lots of decals at once and pick and choose the ones that you want to use. It really opens up a whole new world of exploration when it comes to doing nail art. And I'm going to be using, a, using it a lot in the future.
So I hope you like the way these turned out. I certainly do. Um, they all look like different types of flowers and I am here for it going into spring with the nice pastels. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please let me know for upcoming content. Please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that bell for no notifications and I will see you in the next video.